Hi Gemini, this is Mary Shea, my channel is Loka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to care for me right now. Gemini is out there. Someone arrives in Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me? Just one last time. All right. Gemini is out there. Your first card is the justice. Hmm. It seems like uh, you might have been seeking for justice, but it seems like Things are going in your favor. Okay, there is celebrations. Okay, you're getting something which you deserve. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Cancerian. I'm just going to break the deck here. Yeah, some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpion. All right. You're very emotionally invested into this situation, but it seems like for a very long time you did not like how things were going, okay? There might be other people who is um, involved in this situation, like multiple people who's involved in the situation, and you're seeking for justice. I somehow feel like things are going your way, like finally going your way. Some of you, some of you might be going through a court marriage, okay? With this justice card and the three of cups, I feel like little celebrations in the courthouse, okay? You might be registering your marriage in the courthouse. All right. If that's the case, congratulations. All right. Gemini is out there. What is your next card, please? Okay. That's not your next card. Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Sun card as your next card. Yes. With that judgment, things, you know, the verdict is being made. And when I say things are going in your favor with the sun card, it's the most positive card in this deck. And it's working out in your favor. Like finally. Nah. Things are pretty much out in the open. Yeah, fine. Uh, the verdict is being made. If you were waiting for some kind of a justice, like a legal proceeding, the verdict is coming through and it is going to come through in your favor. All right. Now get the feeling throughout the, uh, throughout the reading. Things are going in your favor. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. All right. Gemini is out there. What is your next card, please? Is your next card please Gemini's this one with the queen of wands in the center of the reading along with the magician it seems like the person you're dealing with could be very powerful or you could be the queen of wands okay you had been manifesting this for quite some time for you were seeking for justice you were uh, putting in putting in so much work into making this happen because uh, with this magician's energy you were doing everything in your power to make this come through okay both these cards together we have got the queen of wands and there is a little black cat sitting under her foot and then we have the magician again black cats are associated with magic okay so uh, doing everything possible to make things go in your favor okay some of you might be dealing with a juvenile energy a pisces energy or an aries energy do you want me to break the deck here and then we have the ten of wands it it was not easy okay for you to make this happen 
it has been a long journey it has been a struggle okay so many challenges but yet now things are finally happening okay it's it's almost like uh you're in the final lap okay if you're running a marathon you're finally there okay because the justice uh, sorry, the justice, the judgment, all that, along with the sun. You're finally seeing the sun. Okay, it's, it's like the light in the end of the tunnel, that kind of a situation. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius energy. I'm speaking to the Geminis out there. What is your next card, please? What? Now, this was, and it is happening quickly. Okay, it's, it's just like, it's just clarifying, okay, uh, to what I said with the final lap. You're, you're almost there. The finish line is almost there. Okay, this is very quick energy. This is very fast moving energy. So you're going to hear about this real quick. So if you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. What is your next card, please? same card okay so i'm going to put it out there this is your next card Ooh, along with the ten of swords some of you might be putting an end to something along with the six of wands okay that's interesting it's almost like you're deciding to put an end to something okay you're getting done with something and you are moving into something new okay because along with the uh, ten of swords is the card of victory this is what you're hoping for and i spoke about uh, the justice along with the three of cups so it's it's like even if you're putting an end to something even if you're getting a divorce you are celebrating it because you wanted it you were seeking for it okay so there is this energy about putting an end or you know a complete uh death you know you're moving past it you don't want to deal with this anymore you don't want to think about this anymore because this has been stressing you out for quite some time you're literally done with it all right and then we have the six of wands this is your victory Ending something is your victory. That's why I'm saying some of you might be putting, and uh, you know, going through a divorce situation. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a strong Gemini energy, uh, under the Gemini energy, or a Leo or a Taurus. Whew. Gemini's. A very intense reading. I'm literally, literally dripping from my back. Oof. Gemini is out there. What is your last card, please? And it's hot in this room, so. Gemini is out there. What is your last card, please? This one. And the two of wands. So for some of you, once you end a situation, you're going to jump into something new. I picked it up earlier as well when I showed you the Six of Wands. It's, it's like you need this for you to move on. Okay? It's like you're manifesting this. You have already planned out your future, but then you need this to come through. How does it make sense? It's, it's like if you found a person for you and you have already separated from somebody else, you need that to be finalized, the divorce to be finalized before you jump into a marriage with this new person. You found your emperor. Okay. But then you will have to uh, finalize uh, the previous marriage. Okay. 
doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. It could be anything which is legal. But somehow I see like things are finally going in your favor. Okay. And you, you had been going through so much uh, challenges. And I feel like it, it had been a cycle. Okay, because the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords came together. So it, it's almost like a, a cycle which you went through is finally completing. You're done with that. And you're stepping into something. Because with that Sun card and the Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you might be getting married. And this is the backstory. Like this is what you have to get done with. So congratulations on your divorce and congrats, congratulations if you're stepping into a new relationship. Okay, because I feel like it's somehow interlinked. That's it for now. This is Marishi Amacharo Shaloka. Until next time, bye-bye.